the uh, ESP manual calls for the use of CA to go in between the uh, the bearing in here and the boom or and the, and the torque tube. Um, so I am going to get out my bottle of uh, very thin uh, Loctite here. This is a uh, super glue Loctite. And uh, what you want to do is you want to measure out from one end of the boom 226 millimeters. And what that, and you want to put the, um, the thing right centered on 226 millimeters. So I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit. Now you got to be really, really careful when you do this. You do not want to seize up the bearing. So, be very, very cautious. You put a dot of CA on the boom and then slide very carefully over the CA. So after you've got your torque tube on there CA'd, I've got mine ended up being about 225 millimeters on one end and 239 millimeters on the other. It's, you know, you just get it roughly about 10 millimeters apart. You know, you just want it to be on the boom, not the same. But now the important thing, you want the shorter end closer to the body of the helicopter. So find the shorter end, that would be this side, and this side will be the one that will be going into the helicopter. And then the longer side, the 239-inch side, will be going towards the tail. So now I'm going to use my car shock oil, and I'm going to put some lube on this piece here, so that it'll slide easier down the boom. Now what I'm going to use is a uh, boom from a 450 to push this down the down the boom of the large heli. So you just slide it in, get it in there you go. The 450 boom works really nicely. Got that trick off of uh, one of the guys on RC groups. So you just basically push it in now until you get it. Getting close there. All right, so now it looks like we've got ourselves 